This is the next problem in the concept of exact equations. See the statement. So 5x power 4 plus 3x square y square minus 2xy cube dx plus 2x cube y minus 3x square y square minus 5y power 4 whole into dy is equal to 0. We have to find the general solution of this equation. Clearly we are observing that this is in the form of m dx plus n dy. Directly given equation is provided in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So first of all we have to verify that whether the given equation is exact or not. So first write value of m. What is value of m coefficient of dx which is 5x power 4 plus 3x square y square minus 2x y cube and uh, write the value of capital N here which is coefficient of dy in the given problem. So 2x cube y minus 3x square y square minus 5y power 4. Okay. So check the condition for exactness which is dou m by dou y and we have to find out dou m by dou x. If these both are equal then only we can say that given equation is exact otherwise it is said to be non-exact don't find it. So whenever we are taking the partial derivative with respect to y except y remaining are all constants particularly x is constant. So derivative for the partial derivative for the first term becomes 0 plus here also 3x square is constant but it is in the product. So don't do anything for 3x square. Okay, just write in the product and derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y minus here also 2x is in product. So don't do anything for this one because it is in the product and the differentiation of y cube with respect to y is 3y square. This is the concept of partial derivative. However, it is 3 to the 6 x square y minus 2 3 the 6 x y square. Now see this one. In this case, partial differentiation of n with respect to x, except x remaining are all constant. Here y is constant. So just to do the derivative for x cube, which is 3x square. Already 2 is there in the product. So you will get 3 to the 6 x square y minus. Here also 3 is constant, y square is in constant, which are in product. So let us the let us take partial derivative of x square with respect to x only. It would be 2x. 2 3s are 6xy square. It would be completely constant. That's why its partial derivative with respect to x is 0. So whose derivative is 0? It is not necessary to write 0 in the subtraction. Now observe these both terms. Clearly these both are equal. So what is the conclusion? Dou m by dou y is equal to dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Hence, we should conclude that given equation is exact. Given differential equation is exact. So, whenever we can get the exact equation, we can easily write the general solution directly by using the formula. The required general solution is integral m dx in this case y should be constant y should be constant plus integral terms of n terms of n not containing x terms of n not containing x whole into dy is equal to c this is the formula for general solution of general solution of m exact equation. So you should write all terms of m. What is m? 5x power 4 bracket open 5x power 4 plus 3x square y square minus 2x y cube whole into dx. Here we have to take the integration with respect to x only. That's why y terms are constants. Don't forget it. Plus don't write all terms of n here. See, look at the terms of n. Here, first term contains x. So, don't take this term. Second term also contains x. So, don't take second term also. But last term does not contains x. That's why we take here minus 5 y power 4. Don't forget this negative sign. 
here okay into d1 is equal to c now we have to find out the integration to get the general solution c there is this is implies what is the integration of x power 4 everybody knows that integration of x power 4 is x power 5 by 5 5 5 getting cancelled so you will get x power 5 plus c here just write the integration of x square only because 3y square is the constant because in this part y is constant okay y is also equal to any real number so that's why integration of x square is x cube by 3 but outside already we have 3 so 3 3 getting cancelled simply you will get x cube y square minus here also just to take the integration of x with respect to x x square by 2 these two these two getting cancelled so you will get x square y cube finally plus into minus minus integration of y power 4 is y power 5 by 5 but already 5 is in product that's why both getting cancelled simply you will get y power 5 is equal to c this is c is called integral constant otherwise arbitrary constant otherwise parameter are all same and one more important thing is since given differential equation is a first order differential equation its general solution should contain only one arbitrary constant so this is the required general solution of given differential equation in this way we can complete the problem in the next video i will give some more problems on concept of exact equations. Thank you very much.